told you he could do it. And then I did exactly what Jesus said I should do. I took my mat. And for the first time in, in years, I took my mat and I went home. For days, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I would go to sleep every night thinking that this is a dream. I'm going to wake up and it's not going to be real. But every day, I did wake up and my legs were working. The crowd got to see the healing. But I truly experienced it. Experienced it. And for the first time, that talk about God wasn't just words, it was real. I experienced something there on that floor. Now you know the story of Jesus. He died, he went to the cross, he died, he was risen again to save your sins. Jesus made an impact on me. My legs were healed, but it was more than that. It wasn't just what I felt in my legs. It was that something inside me was different. My heart was changing. On that floor that day, my life was definitely changed. My legs were healed, but that wasn't the, the main part. That was significant, but my heart had changed. My heart had changed in a way that I didn't know was possible. My life would forever be changed from that moment. All of you understand, those of you that have Jesus in your heart, you know what I felt. You know that change that came over me when I welcomed him into my heart. If you haven't done that, I strongly tell you that you should to experience that. And if you know those people that have not yet called Jesus into their heart, Tell them to do so. Because while healing my legs certainly was impactful, the change in my heart is what was significant. And thanks be to God for that. Amen. And our hymn of the day is number 338.
Let's pray. Forgiving God, you bring us the joy of salvation. Your steadfast love surrounds those who trust you. We are grateful that you nurture us with your word. By your spirit, help our congregation draw closer to you. Even as we reach out to share your good news with our neighbors, we dedicate our tithes and offerings in the name of your faithful Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. <clears throat> the gift of grace is for all people. Give confident faith to all the baptized, that they may follow you wholeheartedly. Give new believers joy in your promises. Give hope and courage to those who suffer for their faith. Hear us, O oh God. In your mercy, is great. And Jesus, you join humanity in suffering and death. Reveal to all the depth of your love shown on the cross. Accompany all who suffer in body, mind, and spirit. Restore all who are sick or grieving. Bring vindication for victims of injustice, exploitation, and oppression. Tonight we pray for uh, Barb Olson, who uh, passed away yesterday or the day before. We, we pray for comfort for her family. We pray for Pastor Lori that uh, uh, the passing away of uh, her niece's uh, husband and give comfort to their family. We pray and we continue to pray for Elaine Curry, Chris Hansen, Bruce Garrels, Mike Edwards, Wendy Westfield, John Westfield, Carl Westfield, Kelly Johnson, Holly Miller, John Daniel, Daryl Swan, Jane Hansen, Jody Reese, Corey Van Allen, Roseanne Sloan, Randy Schumacher, Helen Burns, Joyce Larson, Diane Peterson, Doug Christensen, and we pray for all those that we name now in the silence of our hearts. We also continue to pray for the victims of natural tragedies, such as the tremendous cold and storms in Texas, for those who suffer from the shooting in Buffalo, and for all those who have suffered at the hands of weather and violence. Hear us, O oh God. We await the day of Christ's coming in glory. Lead us by the example of all the saints whom you have called to take up their cross and follow you that together we may find our lives in you. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We entrust ourselves in all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So in the love of God the Father, and the grace of Jesus the Son, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, may you go in peace. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord someplace else. We will. Thanks be to God.